Welcome to my podcast. Today I will be talking about the worst trades by the Philadelphia Flyers in the 21st century. I will be breaking these trades down by GM. GM Bobby Clark trading Eric Lindros to the New York Rangers for Pavel Brendel, Jan Halavik, Kim Janssen, and a 2003 third round pick, Stefan Ruzuka, was a horrible trade. Stefan Ruzuka never made it to the NHL. Pavel Brendel and Jan Halavik didn't make any impact for the Flyers. Kim Janssen was a solid top quarter defenseman for the Flyers, but he isn't even close to what Eric Lindros is. Eric Lindros was the face of the Flyers at the time of this trade. For them to ship him off like this was disrespectful. The Flyers basically treated this trade as a way to get rid of Lindros because of his concussions. Trading a seventh round pick in 2003, Joe Pavelski, to the San Jose State Sharks for a sixth round pick in 2004, slash slash Skirko was not a good move in hindsight. Slash slash Skirko never made it to the NHL, while Joe Pavelski is now the captain of the San Jose Sharks and is a premier goal scorer in the NHL. Trading Justin Williams to the Carolina Hurricanes for Danny Markoff was a bad trade. Danny Markoff only played 34 games for the Flyers, while Justin Williams has won three Stanley Cups in the NHL, one with the Carolina Hurricanes and two with the LA Kings. Between Patrick Sharp and Eric Mosh to the Chicago Blackhawks for Matt Ellison and a third round pick in 2006, Ryan White was a terrible trade. Ryan White didn't make any major impact for the Flyers, and neither did Matt Ellison. Patrick Sharp went on to win three Stanley Cups with the Chicago Blackhawks. Trade Michael Hansus to the Chicago Blackhawks for Kyle Calder was not a good move. Kyle Calder only played one season with the Flyers. Michael Hansus had a couple solid seasons in the NHL after being traded. GM Paul Holmgren. Trading Yanni Pickman, Jeff Sanderson, and a third round pick in 2009, Cameron Abney, to the Edmonton Oilers for Joffrey Lupo and Jason Smith was a terrible trade. Joffrey Lupo had two good years with the Flyers before being traded in the deal for Chris Palmer. Jason Smith only played one season with the Flyers. Johnny Pickman turned into a great top pair defenseman with the Hurricanes before a career alternate, altering injury. Jeff Sanderson was a solid veteran forward at the time of his trade. Trading many possible to the Tampa Bay Lightning for a seventh round pick in 2008, Joachim Erickson, and a 2009 fourth round pick, Alex Hutchings, was a bad trade. Both of the trade players drafted by the Flyers never made an impact at the NHL level. While Benny Possible had a couple of good seasons after being traded, trading the first round pick in 2008, John Carlson to the Washington Capitals for Steve Edmonton and a third round pick in 2008. Jacob the Stairs was a bad trade. Steve Edmonton didn't live up to expectations and only played 12, see, 12 games for the Flyers. Jacob DeServs never made it to the NHL. John Carlson has turned into a great defenseman for the Washington Capitals. Trading Dennis Gauthier and the second round pick in 2010, Jason Sucker to the Los Angeles Kings for Patrick Hersey and Ned Luka. Lukasovic was a horrible trade. Neither of the two players selected by the Flyers made it to the NHL. This copy didn't make any impact for the Kings. But Jason Stucker is now a solid top six forward for the Minnesota Wild. Training Scotty Buckshaw at a second round pick in 2011. Luca Lucio to the Arizona Coyotes for Danny Parcillo was not such a good move at all. Dan Carcello was a goon and was a waste of a roster spot. Well, Scotty Upshaw was actually a 
pretty valuable role player. Change Simone Donaghy to the Tampa Bay Lightning for Matt Walker and the 2011 fourth round pick. Marshall Nobles was a terrible trade. Matt Walker never lived up to the expectations the Flyers had of him and only played four games for the Flyers. Marshall Nobles never made it to the NHL either. Uh, Simone Donnie was a core piece of the Flyers for many seasons. They pretty much gave Simone Donnie away for free. Trading Patrick Maroon and David Lebier to the Anaheim Ducks for a survey and Rob Morrison was a bad trade. Patrick Maroon is now emerging as a good top nine forward for the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Jason Ray and Rob Gorson didn't make it to the NHL. Trade Circuit Brodsky to the Columbus Blue Jackets for a 2012 fourth round pick, Taylor and a 2012 second round pick, Anthony Stolers, as well as a fourth round pick in 2013 that was traded. Turning to a pretty horrible trade. Taylor has not made it to the NHL yet, and Anthony Stolers has yet to make an impact at, at the NHL level yet. On the other hand, Sergei Brodsky is now a top 10 goalie in the NHL. Trade James Van Riemsdyk to the Toronto Maple Leafs for Luke Shen was one of the worst trades in franchise history. Luke Shen was an overhyped prospect by the media and was nothing more than a bottom pair defenseman. James Van Riemsdyk, on the other hand, was a great top six forward that's now playing on the Toronto Maple Leafs. GM Ron Hextall trading Scott, uh, Scott Hartnell, sorry, to the Columbus Blue Jackets for RJ Umberger and a 2015 fourth round pick, which was traded, was a bad trade. RJ Umberger struggled to stay healthy in his second step with the Flyers 